Samantha from Juicy Miss Tutorials here and today I'm going to be trying to make faux snowflake obsidian. So this is going to be a test video so basically I'm experimenting around and I wanted to have the camera on while I'm experimenting. So what I'm doing is I'm taking white Primo and I'm rolling it up into little balls and I'm just popping it onto a dry wet wipe that I have here. You can use tissue paper if you wanted to, just something soft. And once I'm done balling them up, I'll put them into a preheated oven. Um, it's been preheated to Primo's recommended temperature. And I'll put them in for around um, 15 seconds. And now the point is to semi-cure them. Not cure them enough that they're rock hard, but cure them, them enough that they're just going to slightly crackle if pressed on. And the goal of this um, is to make sure that they stay nice and round when I use them in a mold um, but also so that they're not so hard that they won't flatten out a little bit in the mold so that everything can um, move around. So hopefully that made sense but um, I'll show you in just a minute. So hopefully this will work. This is my theory because I need to keep these balls somewhat round when I press them into a cabochon um, but I don't want them so hard that it's going to cause problems. So, my theory is to partially cure them. Now, I'm going to try with the oven first. If that doesn't work, I'm going to use a heat gun. So, I'm going to go pop this in for about 15 seconds and we'll see what they look like afterwards. Okay, so I ended up putting the balls in for 30 seconds and then I put another lot in for a full minute. So, we'll see which one of those turns out best. Now, what we need to do is we need to take some. Uh, black Prima and that's a little bit much so I'm going to just get rid of that and I haven't conditioned it because I want it to be quite hard because our white having been partially baked is going to be fairly hard so I don't want this black to be smushing in all around it I want it to be able to stand up a little bit to the white so that um, we can get the white to crack a little bit hopefully anyway so I'm just taking the black and I'm chopping it fine. And you'll also need some black paint. So we'll mix that in with the white and the black. In just a minute. So that if the white does crack, uh, the black paint will highlight those cracks. And so I'm going to just separate it into two piles because I want to test out the two um, balls of white. See whether the 30 seconds or one minute works best. So first we need to choose our mould. And I've got two over here. And I'm selling these on my Etsy shop, Jessima Design, as you can see. And I just want to roughly guess how much of the black I'm going to need. Because I don't want to mix the white in with more black than is necessary. So I'm guessing that's about how much I'm going to need for that mould. And then for this one. I'm just doing this roughly. So probably about that much. So now I've got two piles. And so I think we'll go with the 30 second one first. So I have that over here. just gonna pop them together like that and then I'll grab a little bit of black paint 
this is the brand that I'm using. I'm just going to start mixing. And what this will do is it will also help the white, which is partially baked, to bond a little bit to the black. Because right now it's kind of um, rolling all over the place and not wanting to come in. Now I'm just going to go clean my hands quickly. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my heat gun and set it onto its lowest setting. You can use a hair dryer as well. And so I'm not going to be trying to bake this. I'm just going to be gently drying the paint to speed up the process. You can just wait for the paint to dry if you're a patient person. Or you can use a hair dryer or a heat gun on its, rear, on its lowest heat setting. And that will have dried it enough. Now I will grab my cabochon mold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white pieces. I can see them. And they're still all separate. And I'm going to try and build this. So that I get quite a few white dots. Um throughout the piece. So I'm just going to make sure that I position them where the, um, we'll be able to sand it so we'll be able to see it. Just picking out any that I can see and dropping them in. should be fine. Just wanted to make sure I had a few on the bottom. Then just take the entire thing and squish it into your mould. And I'm really hoping this is going to work. So I've tried a few techniques and none of them have really been overly satisfying to me as far as the outcome goes. So, we'll see if this one is the right technique. Okay, now I'm gently going to use my roller to flatten it. It is really important that you take the time to smoosh this in and make sure that it's all um, compacted together because otherwise your cabochon will be weak later. So I'm really going to take the time to do that. I'm just going to check the front as well. And I'm actually going to demold it see how the front is coming along and I can see that there's this big section that's not smooth because of these white pieces so I'm just going to take a few pieces of black and just pop them in there and I might actually take a piece of white from the um, at the section and just pop it into place over there because it feels a little bit empty over there so I'm just going to take a few pieces I think the one minute ones are going to be too um, hard but I'm going to just take a few of them and pop them into place I might want to go down from 30 seconds to maybe about 20 so I'll try this a few times with the balls being cured partially in the oven and I'll see which one is best. Okay, so I've baked and sanded these and this is how they have come out. Now this is the uh, 
uh, ones where the clay went in for 30 seconds and this is the one that I made afterwards where it went in for about 20 to 18 seconds. So personally I like this one best but I think that is mainly because I have more white specks in it um, whereas this one I have a lot less but I like how the specks have kept their shape. This one they've kind of got all squished together and I don't really like that. I really want these specks to kind of keep this rounded shape that they have even if they are pressed against each other like over here so I definitely am going to be using the 30 second uh, clay from now on but I'm going to be putting a lot more into the actual capuchon itself so I'm going to make another one I'm just going to use a lot more of the white specks and we will see how that one comes out looking 